the baby, I feel like the baby, even though it's really toxic, the baby will at least be safe. You know, the baby will at least be safe. Um, yeah, we have a, now there's a whole mansion to burn down, right? Namaste. Oh my God. I am not okay today, you guys. This is not what I was expecting. Marmalade can burn down so much more. I know, right? Holy crap. So we actually have to kick out the rest of the kids. Poppy, I think, does have a fire system, I think. Um, all right, we have to evict... I'm going to go back. I'm going to go evict all of the siblings and say they like moved out on their own and stuff because they're still there. But like we're because we don't have room in the household because there's too many people. But like we're going to Poppy is going to love this for her content. I also think she's an elder now, too, by the way. So brace yourself, guys. Um, This is insane. Poppy kicked them out because they suck for content. And now the grandkids need the space. Yes. Wait, what if she, yeah, she just kicked them out because she heard that like she needed the bedroom for the kid. And she sees this as a point for like being the grandma YouTuber now kind of thing. I can see it. The generation is the baby is generation four. Generation four is what this is. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that, friends. If you guys want to catch up on the previous episodes of this challenge, they're all on my YouTube channel. It's the Jelly Bean Legacy. It's a legacy challenge I wrote. Um, This is insane. This is insane. What if Poppy dies if they live there? Ooh, I feel like they might get the mansion. And all the inheritance or something. Thank you for the follows. Welcome on in. Wait, did we... Uh, Why is it showing as like a residential rental? Oh my God, treasure room. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, no, it was the it was the treasure room, the basement. Yeah. Yep. That's right. I remember that. I was like, wait, hi, happy women's day. Hi, Brew. Also, hi, Joey. Um, oh, my God. There is literally so much drama in this challenge, you guys. So we're moving in with our toxic grandma because they started another fire. They just lost their apartment. You guys, this is probably the most intense, insane thing I've ever endured in my life. So we're going to be moving out all of these kids. They're going to kick. She's going to kick all of them out. Because, yeah, another yeah, another fire. They lost their whole apartment. I literally thought that Helena was going to die. Like she was so close to dying. She peed. And I'm pretty sure that's actually what saved her from dying because the fire was like right next to her. That was so insane. So she's kicking out all of her children. <clears throat> Even the cat, right? Seriously. Like, this is probably... Oh, my God. Okay, so Brayburn. We've got Opal, Mac, and then Smith. Oh, my God, they're elders, too. I know all of them are older now. Uh, no, that was actually where the butler lived, Lisa. Yeah, this is some ridiculous drama brew this is ridiculous yeah th yeah they're gonna move in with the they're moving with grandma we rolled the dice to see and poppy heard about everything that went on and she was like i bet you that clement probably like talk like asked poppy like can i move in with you because this is a mess and like my moms won't take me back in so poppy sees this as like an opportunity to like use them for content kind of thing i also think i'm just gonna where should i make these kids live should i make them move to like somewhere else in tartosa right this is literally why i love that i'm gonna do i'm just gonna move them over here i think you to tweet at her so she would actually respond oh my god <laughs> right as far away from Poppy as possible. Would they move like as far away as possible? Okay, they'd probably move to like Kenford on Bagley or something, which is somewhere that's definitely not nearby. So let's go ahead and just put them here. Um, Goodbye, children. Go, gotta hit the dusty trail. We can pretend that they, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> um, Poppy and Clement team up to get rid of Helena, right? I don't know. Or it would, I, I kind of view that Poppy and Helena would probably be like besties though. 
Like they would thrive in their toxicity together. And they would probably just like be the worst, most toxic like combo ever and cause Clement to like be pushed further away or something. Yeah, Poppy's going to teach Helena some really bad things. Seriously, because I think Helena would probably be that toxic person to do that. The devious duo. I could see it. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. This is absolute insanity. OK, we're going to go back here and we're going to move them out. That's where are we going? I think it's over here, isn't it? There it is. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so we're going to move. And we're going to move in with grandma over here. Helena starts streaming too. Maybe another reason for her to exit eventually, right? Or something. Or maybe she meets like a guy and then like online and then just leaves. Oh my God. Um, be, um, Helena and Poppy become besties and kick out Clement and keep the baby. Oh my God. Imagine that. Oh my God, Poppy loves Helena. She probably would love her like so much. Um, I'll have them keep their furniture or whatever because everything is toasted and they just have their money in their pocket. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Uh, or Helena and Poppy are more than friends and Clement leaves. Ooh, right. All right, guys. So Twitch is going to play some ads in just a second. I'm going to pause right here. And then we'll be back in just a second. Because like... We're onto this entirely sideways, ridiculous curveball of a place right now. Um, so I'm gonna play those ads. I will be right back and I will catch you guys in just a few minutes. Hang tight. Um, so yes, they're moving in with Poppy. They their apartment started on fire, and I I rolled the dice to see if they would call Poppy to ask her, like, hey, this is really hard. Can we move in with you? We also Dudes. Dudes. What? Why is he on the... They, seriously, they are hounded by these fires. This is ridiculous. They just... This poor child. Did they, like... Ha uh, Helena outs toxic. Poppy steals the house and gets her evicted somehow. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, Helena is that vindictive. So we're going to be doing some renovating today for these bedrooms, you guys, because this was Apple's original bedroom, if you guys remember. This is going to be the nursery, I think. And then the other room on the other side over here is going to be like Helena and Clemens' bedroom. So we're going to be doing some renovating today. Um, My game has been doing that with my infant. I'll leave and come back and the infant is so far away, right? I wonder if it's just something weird. I'll probably teleport him back to the house. Uh, where do all the siblings sleep if you remove those beds? Um, I We're saying that Poppy kicked all of them out. So they were in here. Baby is just like, let me escape. Please let me nice more. Baby, take me away. <laughs> Literally. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, guys, we're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. This is a very huge, st big story-driven, drama-ridden challenge. It is ridiculous. Um, so our teenagers got kicked out of Apple Generation's house, which is their parents' house. Um, they got kicked out. And they, um, because they got pregnant, and then they moved into a bus. They moved the bus around, all that kind of stuff. And then they ended up uh, having a fire in the bus, and then they just left it. Then they moved into a mold-ridden apartment. They were there for maybe, like, an afternoon. And then another fire started. And then they were like, this is way too crazy. And then they called their grandma, who they never even really, like, spoke to in their entire life before. Because Apple kind of cut her out of uh, their lives and stuff. So there's so much, like, this is, like, such a broken family. This is ridiculous. So then we're moving back into the Bubblegum Generation's house. Poppy is an elder now. She's going to die when she dies. She's also like a really toxic celebrity who like was the mommy influencer and like used her children for money, basically, and used her children for like content. I can't believe that we're back here again, you guys. The child longs for the sea. Literally, it's so true. I am like in awe of this. Also from Shein and I got a pencil grip and learned how to write uh, with my right hand. Nice. That's exciting. 
Oh, you wish your game ran smooth at this? I get it. I do. Holy crap, you guys. Okay, so we've got like 10 seconds left on the ads, but I think that we're gonna go into like a little builder era in just a second here. Helena leaving because she gets jealous of Poppy and always being the center of tension, right? Or something. Poppy have to death, we don't know. Not sure. When they're elders, they just say that like they lived X amount of days and then they die when they die kind of thing. Tommy is almost going to croak, though. Um, so Tommy is going to die soon. Um, I think that Poppy has a lot of life left in her, though. Probably a lot of life left in her. I know Ambrosia Zoom. It was so cute. That one was so fun. Thank you for the follows, by the way. My name is Zephyrin. My pronouns are she, her. Welcome. So we're going to do a renovation. Um, I got here. What made you end up bagging with Poppy? Uh, we had a fire in our last apartment. So we had, our, we had a fire. And we uh, are now moving back in with Grandma because obviously we don't talk to the Apple generation at all. That's kind of that whole thing. Um, a lot of life in Botox, literally, right? She really is so much Botox. So we have that fire. Oh my God, we still have everything. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. I just realized, oh no, I should have, oh no. Oh no, you guys. Oh, that's so annoying. How do I just, can I just get rid of all of this? That's so irritating. 80% silicone and she would be preserved for the long term. Literally though. I should have sold all our crap. I forgot that like you bring everything with you when you do that. That's so irritating. Okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do this then friends. Oh no, uh, MCC lets you clear inventory if you click on the computer. Oh, does it really? MCC cleaner, MCC cleaner, okay. Let's double check. So it's like, MC cleaner, clean item cleaner, neighborhood cleaner, relationship sim, detail logging item cleaner. There's nothing in there. Um, yeah, MC Cleaner just makes it literally clean, I think. Sim Cleaner. Sink married names. I uh, remember the Sims 3 where they go to the hospital and get plastic surgery. Oh my God, sometimes they would get botched. Really? I forgot about that. Inventory is actually when you, oh, when you click the Sim. Okay. MCC when you click on the person. All right, so let's click you. I like how the, the things here for the baby, but then there's no baby. MC command center, MC cleaner, sell household inventory. Oh my God, that's so handy. Let me double check to make sure there's nothing in there that I actually want to have, you know? Um. Yeah, I don't see anything in here that I want to have. So we had like 79,000 simoleons. I know that's literally MC Command Center, you guys. I'm still learning about things that you can do with this with this mod. It's incredible. MCC, oh no, for sure. MCC has a lot of options. It does. MC Cleaner, sell household inventory. Okay. So we had 79,000 simoleons. We could also keep this money because we could say this is Poppy's money too. Um, all right, guys. So we are doing some cleanup. And we are, um, we're renovating these bedrooms to be fit for the orange uh, and the yellow generation. So this is gonna be the yellow generation or uh, pineapple generation's room. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, it's lobster girl. I forgot about that. Actually, you guys, we forgot about this picture. I'm going to put that in our household inventory, though, because, you know, that's something that's really cute, actually. I know that was a lifesaver, wasn't it, Nick? I literally had no idea. 
I know the loft is really cute, isn't it? I kind of, I don't know if I want to keep it or if I want to like make it a normal bedroom in here because this was supposed to be like an apple tree kind of thing, you know? Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Hi, Ray. Welcome on in. How you doing today? So glad to see ya. So this is Ambrosia's old bedroom. Um. I don't even like what this is. OK, this is literally. Not what I expected to our day to go like at all whatsoever. I don't know where I expected it to start, but it certainly wasn't this. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Poppy would make them pay rent. Maybe maybe only <gasps> I feel like Poppy would be like, OK, only you, you, you can live here free as long as I can like record videos of the baby. The rent is content. Exactly. Yeah, the rent is in the videos because I think that's what Poppy would so do. I'm also going to move Helena out of here. Um, here we go. Like legitimately, um, maybe they sign kind of right. They can they sign like a contract or something. Oh, my God. Like this is your this is why you live here. Holy crap, Poppy is so manipulative and toxic, though, you guys. Right, content is I'm not paying for any of you, uh, paying you any of the money I make from your baby, right? I gotta go now. Bye, Ike, and I'll see you later. Thanks so much for coming on. Bye. Right? Like, it's one of those reality TV shows. Imagine. Holy crap, y'all. Okay, so one other thing that I'm trying to see right now is I want like the construction quality concrete. There it is. So we can just have like a fresh start in here. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Hi, Gray. Welcome on in. Uh, you can move it. You have to let me turn this house into Big Brother. Oh, my God. Seriously, this is not a good situation. And I think Clement and them are about to see how like why ambrosia ended up like cutting him out or cutting them out sort of thing if y'all remember okay so this is gonna be pineapple's bedroom hi santi welcome on in how you doing pineapple's room is gonna be full of yellow and full of fun and amazingness um no shay we uh so our part you know how the bus started on fire and then they moved into the apartment the apartment started on fire and then they called grandma and they're like grandma we need help. This is too much for us kind of thing. So they are moving in with grandma. So I it, know it's, it's like whiplash. It is. It's so ridiculous. I think we're all kind of addicted to this story, too. Right next door to this content studio for very convenient Graham photos. Seriously, right? What if we put like a door in there? Oh my God, imagine that. Thank you so much for all the follows, by the way. If you guys are new here, my name is Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. So good to have you. Helena should be banned from cooking. I feel like she's probably, you know, the cooking is just not her life. You know, that's not made for her. Okay, so they're going to have like a nicer bed now. But like, okay, I'm, I want to lean into orange and black colors because orange is obviously Clement's color. Um, orange and black is kind of what I'm imagining. Okay, let's have a peek now. Let's filter orange. Ooh, what about something like this? But looking in your stream for every few hours in the time, they're in, seriously right, Joy. They're like in a different house because there's been so much crap that's happened. It's actually ridiculous. Um, I don't even know like how any of this crap has happened. Like we're just how. How has this happened? Relationship going, it, their relationship is still in shambles. It is. Um, there's nothing good about their relationship right now, at the very least. All of their friends keep telling them to leave each other. Um, count moving enough times. I think this does count as moving enough times at the very least. It does. Because it said that he had, to leave, he had to move at least two times in his adult life. Um, and this definitely is the third time. So <laughs> their apartment started on fire. Also, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. 
If you guys are on TikTok, I'm also on Twitch. Otherwise, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Okay. Let's do some, like, something orange on the walls. What are we doing? Um, I feel like it's going to be more, like, vampy feeling, probably because of Helena or something. I don't know. But definitely, like, moody orange bedroom. Clement had a baby as an adult now, even if he's a teen. Exactly. Right? Like, he's got crap to take care of. I think Poppy is mostly going to raise pineapple, though, because of how noncommittal Clement is. That's kind of what I feel is going to start happening. And we all know how that turned out um, for some of those kids. <laughs> that was not a very good situation for anybody. If I don't say so myself. Also, this brick is so cool. How do we feel about this brick? Orange in the new gem pack. Not really that I noticed. I think they might have like a golden yellow color, but there's nothing really like orange in there. I know. I think I like the brick. I'm trying to do something a little more moody and like vampy, kind of dark. I think we might do like a dark, deep brown color on the walls or something. Something like that might be kind of fun. Pineapple basically raise themselves essentially. Yes. Building. Oh, no worries. Chronically blue. So basically in this, uh, we're in the third generation of our legacy challenge and um, they lived in a bus. The bus started on fire. They ended up like just signing a lease without looking at an apartment and it ended up being mold ridden. But then it started on fire right away. So then they called their grandma who they who their mother like never really had contact with. So there's broken family ties everywhere in this challenge right now. So basically they um, asked grandma who is like a toxic influencer, um, if they could move in with her. And she said, yes, as long as like I can um, basically like do like grandma vlogger videos with your baby kind of thing. Because um, the Apple generation, who's the second generation, cut the bubblegum gen, who's, who's who this house is, um, out of their life because of how much like being a, a child of an influencer like that impacted their life negatively. So um, they tried so hard to raise the orange generation, who is the second generation or the third generation to like be cut away from that. So they didn't have to experience that life and that pain. Yeah, we did that. We did the giveaway for the for the worm. Also, hi, Alex. Welcome on in. Um, so basically, there's they don't really ever they've never had like a relationship or anything. And but Clement obviously knows that Poppy exists. But now um, Clement doesn't talk to uh, the Apple generation because of the fact that there's um, like. They got kicked out because there was a teenage pregnancy and all that. Hi, Alex. Welcome on in. It's so good to see you. So here we are. We've lived. We're living with grandma, apparently, because the dice rolls decide this. Demo class for a job and I applied before I'm so oh my god that's so exciting though congratulations what kind of flooring should we do in here you guys I don't know I'm trying to make it like dark moody pops of orange instead of like all orange kind of thing should we do like a black carpet or something like ooh, even like a, a moody tile or something would be kind of fun like a big black tile um so something like this even like an orangey wood. Ooh. Feels so guilty that her son tried to rely on the person she despised. Yes, I bet you. I bet you my bottom dollar. Because they like, they literally, um, like just kicked Clement out. Poppy. But then uh, we also decided that Ambrosia maybe, you know, because Clement was like an out of control teenager. He was like sneaking out and going to parties, being really naughty, like going to like just all sorts of things. Got a girl pregnant, all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't very good. And then Ambrosia probably has Ambrosia was like the perfectionist who was the Apple generation. She uh, she was a perfectionist. So she had this like idea of what a perfect family is to look like kind of thing. And Clement didn't fit that because so it was kind of triggering to her. And then so she ended up like kicking him out and everything because she couldn't like gain control. She it was one thing that she couldn't control because she was so perfect. She wanted this perfect family. Um, and it just everything fell to shambles right at her fingertips, pretty much. So that's it. Uh, let dark and movie colors in our house. I think so. 
I personally think so. Um, I think Helena and her would probably maybe Poppy's gonna like do this aesthetic. <laughs> I think her and Helena maybe did that. Clement is going to learn real quick his mom's trauma. He's going to be grumpy about it, right? He really will. It's not good here. Uh, Poppy's not a great person. Okay, so... <clears throat> Organized debug is here. Oh, yeah, I need to, like, do... Where's the content? Debug and live edit because we need some panels and stuff like that. Who goes wholehearted into the alt aesthetic and keep up with the kids? Yeah, right. Oh, my God, imagine if she did that. Everything just ended up being like black or something. Oh, I could see it. He might thrive from the lack of attention, right? That is also very true as well. He's either going to like thrive or like just completely drown. This is so ridiculous, though. Oh, my God. Um, I'm trying to make like a custom headboard kind of thing, and I don't know what it's going to look like. Um... Oh my god, what if we did like a little brick thing? Oh, those are really big though. Um, bro, Butts bought, uh, he just, Slinky, he just straight up mocked you. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Definitely gonna be like my grandmother and baby in law gives me a goth makeover type of kit. Oh my god. Right? Because like we, we said that Poppy kind of like fell off, you know? Like she uh, didn't have like the kid content, she kind of fell off. And so maybe it's going to be something like that. Where she like tries to get with the trendy stuff again. Oh my God, Poppy would do it. Buttspot, uh, Buttspot is a bot. It's not like a real person. That would be hilarious if it was like a real person, though. Okay, Buttspot's a bot. Wondering yourself now, you're right. Sometimes it feels very real, though. Like, dude. Poppy is rebranding, right? Like, I could see it. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. How y'all doing today? Um, okay, so I'm trying to figure out almost like a grungy, deep, dark look for them in this bedroom. Um, I think I want to go something a little bit more like brownish weathered on the floors or something. And I also don't know if I like this specifically, but here we are. Um, does this really give Helena an idea to start social media to get money? I think it probably would. I think it would. Um, I think Helena's gonna see all of the like all of that crap and like all the money that can be made and stuff. And then maybe Helena will start being that sort of person as well. The first video, how my daughter ruined my grandbaby's life. Oh my god. And she's just like destroying Ambrosia's really good reputation because Ambrosia is like this really big um like she's a professor if you guys remember she's like at the top of her career she was doing so well for herself I could see it the home appliance insurance mod I do not have that me uh keeps of Helena right we may need something like that if she keeps starting fires and Ambrosia will never see it either. Exactly, because she doesn't know because she's not online at all, ever. So she would never see any of that. Texting Ambrosia and throwing this in her face, right? I do not play with reshade or anything like that. Also, welcome. Thank you for the follows, everybody. <clears throat> you're, you're so perfect. Your son came to me, right? Like, who's perfect now kind of thing. Oh, my God. Imagine. Imagine. That would be, that would have so much contempt. That would, like, breed so much bullcrap between those two. Like, legitimately. I could see it the same. I really could. I'm also going to use this, but I don't know what we want to do for these walls, you guys. Um, should I do, I'm kind of reaching for, like, a grungier, like, kind of thing. I don't know what to do for these walls, though. Thank you so much for the follow. Like, modern grungy, sort of, maybe a lighter brown. I think so. That might be a good idea. Thank you for the follows. You guys are wonderful, by the way. My name's Zephyr, and my pronouns are she, her. We have a very story-heavy gameplay series. It's called The Jelly Bean Legacy. Um, you can catch all the previous episodes on my YouTube channel. It's all live streamed, but I, I upload everything to my YouTube so you can catch up if you want to. It is juicy, let me tell you. A gray on the brick? That's kind of what I was thinking. Like something like this. I don't know. That feels really cold, though. So maybe we'll do gray here instead. 
on this end. It feels very like, I don't know. Something that right here, let's go under orange and see. I don't know. Ah, I never build this way. I want it. I want it to feel like. Almost what's it called? Brutalist. Brutalist is like a type of style almost, but like kind of grungy and stuff. A gray paint. Ooh, like a dark gray on the walls or something instead. Um, Because I want to do accents of orange everywhere. You liked the orange break. I think that might be OK as well, because it does bring in a little bit of that orange. I also might change this, too, but we'll see the the orange brick with maybe gray that was in them uh, as a wallpaper Ooh, a gray. That was that right. So like we do gray and then see if we can find like a good gray color for the walls. Maybe something that's like a dark gray. A good brutalist room, right? That's kind of where my brain is going. God, this doesn't feel right. And I think it's probably the flooring. Um, if you kind of catch my drift, I think it's too light. Should I do something just straight up like this? Let's look up a little bit of inspiration online for like Brutalist, because I know there's like as aspects of it. So it's very like wood tones mixed with lots of like industrial feel. So it kind of blends some like style. It blends a little bit of almost what's it called? Um, what the heck is it called, you guys? It blends um, industrial with. Uh, I can't think of the, the, the culture that I'm thinking of right now. What's the culture that I'm thinking of? Um, there's a specific culture. Sc yeah, Scandinavian. It kind of blends those elements a little bit, like with the yeah. Ooh, desert kid. Actually, that's a good idea. The desert lux one. Okay, packs. Here we go. Desert lux. I feel like we're gonna use a lot of the industrial law things, or maybe not. Actually, maybe not. So desert lux, and then it came here. Ooh, this one actually might be pretty good. <gasps> what if we did like some warmer one or even kind of like a medium toned one? So it's not so like dark and brooding. Because that's not too shabby. Um, Actually. Woo. This is a little bit too crazy. A uh, separate room's apartment. I uh, have a better bill. Um, I'm just gonna say grandma pays for all of it, kind of thing, and just take it out of like the overall household bills. I think the, right. I think the gray is a little bit better. I agree with you. I want to do something a little bit different on the back wall here, though. I might do this. I know that you, I know I I can see myself using this wallpaper a lot as well. We're gonna do something like probably a wood floor. I think. Yeah, like a nice wood floor actually is going to be something that we're going to want to humor. So something like this, but probably on the darker side. Black padding swatch. Ooh, like here on the back. Like something black would be fun. I have an idea. Uh, the options. Um, Michaela, so owner restaurant. Yeah, it's dine out. Is that one? Ooh, what about this? So something that's like kind of wooden. Here we go. That's kind of nice. How do you guys feel about that? Give me inspo. I love that blue. Oh, my God. That's exciting. Or even something a little bit warmer, because some, I'm looking at a lot of like examples and it seems warmer. So. Something black for the back of this. I have some ideas, actually. I don't know if it's actually going to work out for me. The flooring with the walls. Me too. Um, so Poppy probably helped them design this. So it's like nice. And she probably made like an aesthetic blog out of it because that's just the kind of person that Poppy is. Poppy is basically the worst. OK. Um, so something padded. For like the headboard, because I want to make like a headboard. OK, I've got an idea. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, though, um, because of the wall thickness and stuff. But we'll figure this out. 
Remodel my kid's old grand room uh, for my grandson. Right, exactly. Remodel my old kid's old room for my grandson, right? Imagine and the great grandbaby. Oh my God. Ah, Frog, thank you so much for the four months. You're amazing. I appreciate you so stinking much, friend. How are you doing today? You guys are amazing. I am so grateful for your guys's um, love and care and everything being in our community. Y'all are amazing. Okay. I have an idea here, friends. I'm going to make like a fake wall so then I can do what I want here. So we're going to rotate this with Chul. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. How are you doing today? Okay. I'm making my own like headboard kind of thing. Okay, friends. Um, oh my god, I'm back. The uh oh, your sim story. That's exciting. Um, so loved uh make you feel so loved for being myself where I'm not currently in an environment that supports my identity. So thank you for your support. Oh my god, frog. That means the world to me. Oh my god, I could literally cry. I was just talking about that with Michael the other day, how like this community has become something that is so much more meaningful to other people in ways like as a place to be yourself and as a ooh, that's good with that kind of grayish color um, as a place to experiment with your identity and a place to play out with new pronouns or something like that. Um, and and I'm I'm really I've been able to like offer an environment where people are able to do that. And I just, I can't even begin to describe to you how meaningful that is, that you guys feel like that's the, that this is a place where you can do that. Um, and I will do my best to like protect this space the best I can, the best I know how, um, in order to continue that for other people. Um, because I think that like having a space to be able to like, be yourself and experiment with your identity is such a life-saving thing. Um, and I'm really, really proud. So thank you for being a part of that. Thank you for contributing yourself to the space and everything because you guys are the pieces of or why it's so special. Also, ads are going to play in a second, you guys. So I'm going to pause really fast. Ads are so rude. Read the room ads. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in just a second. So hang tight. I think this looks even better. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. They them pronouns. You're amazing, Frog. I love that so much. So important. Thank you for having the courage to come and say that. I know how scary that is because you never know. Poppy is like a remodel part one through 30. This may, uh, will make this will make me money for months. Never mind the thousands I'm spending to do it. Right. Exactly. All she sees is like the, the likes and like the, the views and stuff. Uh, yes, we do have a pronoun bot in this chat. Um... We do. I use, I use the pronoun, not the pronoun bot, but I use the pronoun extension, I guess. We love a good they, them moment. We do. <clears throat> Hi, Poop McNewt. How you doing, dear? Good to see you, by the way. Call people whatever pronouns they want. Exactly, right? That's exactly what it's all about. Because it's not my place to, like, tell you who you aren't. Because I don't know. You know, you know yourself better than you do. I think that's a really important part of the conversation, too. Okay, I really like this headboard moment, though. This is kind of giving. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to add, like, little nightstands in here. How do you guys feel about it? Should I add... I'm actually kind of thinking about what another orange, um, like, bed will look like. Because I don't know. Um, but let's, let's experiment a little bit. Ooh, something that might be a little bit better looking for us. This one's kind of fun. So we could do this. Stick it into the into the wall a little bit. How are you guys feeling about that? That looks more expensive. Do you like it? I think that looks pretty solid. 
I like the pops of yellow and blue in there. It like makes it look a little bit better too. I agree. Gotta wash your hair. All right, see you soon. Right, feeling about the, the bars. I feel like it plays into that style a little bit. The, the song in the background, it is Greatness or Death by Beartooth. Um, I have my Spotify playlist in the link tree in my bio. Um, it's just a Spotify playlist. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just like to share my music. <laughs> the beams, uh, the head beams disappeared, right? It just feels a little bit weird, do you think? What about that? Does that look a little bit better? Bars and headboard combination, right? It just feels a little bit strange. I think you guys might be right on that one, actually. Um, where is it? Where's the... Let's look up orange again and see. Because we might be stuck with that one bed because I don't think there's a lot of good orange options. We could do this one again. Um, I don't know. Um, I see them mine them in the wall because they felt like they were built into the wall, right? That's exactly... That's kind of what I was thinking, too. It's like they, they felt built in. You gonna raise? Oh my God, Jaxie, look at you go. That's exciting. Congratulations on your raise. So cool. What about single beds? Well, we need to have double beds for these two though. So I want a double bed. Um, This one doesn't really have anything good. It was a surprise. Oh my God, that's awesome. There's like a bunch of you guys actually that mentioned that you got raises today. It's for getting a raise, that's amazing. That is awesome, heck yeah. See, that's what I like to hear. So this one also does feel pretty nice too, though. Like, I think this is pretty good. Maybe we'll stick with this and see how I feel. We could pick like a rug to go on the floor. I don't know what kind, but something. So this type of design is, it feels more, what the heck is it called? Scandinavian in ways. I didn't get a raise, but I finally got a job this last week. Oh my God, Poot, that's so cool. I really, really love that. You also got a raise. Ah, yeah. I'm hoping Michael, Michael's uh, thing is in May and I hope, I'm hoping he's gonna get a raise too. Those are awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. Look at that go. Scan uh, energy comes to me to get a new job. Heck yes. That's what I'm saying too. Gotta manifest all that good energy for everybody in here. Getting new jobs, getting raises. Good benefits, all that stuff. That is totally, that's true. Getting a job is definitely a raise from zero pay to paycheck. That is very true. Michael, Michael is my partner. He is. Um, I like this, you guys. Ooh, should we do like a moody like a moody wood back here or something. Something that's a little bit like almost like this or something that's like darker. That's not very good. It's very like orangey, not good orangey though. Thank you. Ah, Phoebes, thank you for the tier two for six months, Phoebes. That is amazing. I really super duper appreciate that friend. Welcome back to the Beanie Weenie Club. You guys are amazing. I know congratulations everyone on the new jobs and raises. You guys should be so proud of yourselves. So thinking proud. Um, tier two, thank you so much for doing that. Oh my God. So how are we feeling about, ooh, maybe something like this, but like darker? I don't know. Nah, that doesn't quite feel right. Should I do like a, a shiplap kind of thing back here or even, I don't know. I feel like this is also okay, just like straight up. Cause I feel like in Brutalism, there's not a lot of variation in the walls and stuff. Shiplap there, right? Is it only black though? Um, We can go here. Let's kind of check this out. We do have like some black ones, but I don't think that really goes very well. I don't know. I might keep it this and then let's mess, let's mess around with some other things. Leave the walls and uh, posters and art up, right? Because I'm thinking about doing something with like cabinets or something. Like a built-in kind of thing. Um, let's go under surfaces and then cabinets and see what I can find under here. 
I'm almost thinking of something like this, but then it's almost Scandinavian feels for things. So I think that I'm actually going to use these, but then we're going to pick a different color. Something like that. Oh my God, all this work and just have to burn it down in a day, right? We worked so stinking hard on that last one. On that last apartment, though, that was honestly a, like, well, kind of. I, I, I just, it was something else. Hi, um, we are currently rebuilding our, um, our, our apartment or, oh no. Oh God. Okay. It was like glitching out for a second. Um, but yeah, so the cat started a fire. And so here we are building, uh, we moved in with Poppy. So grandma, why is this all so uneven? Is this, is it because of that? Oh, it was because of that. Okay. We're good. We're better now. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. How's everyone doing? If you guys are new here, my name is Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I'm a full-time content creator and I love the Sims. So we are building a new place for our Sims to live. Um, the It burnt it down. Uh, it was burnt down. So that's a little crazy. There we go. The marmalade, seriously, right? Marmalade's in like an arsonist or something, right? I wonder if there's a term Scandinavian comes from because I have never my uh, interior even resembles Scandinavian style. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Because there's um like Ikea. Some of the things that you find like at Ikea would be things that are considered um, Scandinavian style. Um, why is Buzzbot making it seem like he's cussing? Wait, what? Buzzbot was like cussing or something? Oh, cussing? Oh, your whole family, right, puppy dog? Hi, yes, the apartment got burnt down. Like, I, uh, I can't even handle it. Like, it burnt down and now, yeah, Ikea's like a Swedish store, right? Um... Yeah, like a lot of the interior designs. You think the black ghost? Did you like it? You really like the concrete? I think I like that too blue, honestly. I don't know like what color out of these. Ooh, maybe these kind of like grayish ones. That's actually kind of nice too. I'll see how this looks. That looks pretty cool. It doesn't like steal the show. Hi, sugar. So glad to see you today. Thanks for stopping by. We are doing um a renovation of our little uh this is poppy's house actually so we're moving into poppy's so this is grandma's place this is actually something where like ambrosia so the apple generation worked really hard to get us to move out of and like keep us away from but we're here i think i really like this too this looks really good um i have some ideas as well thank you for the follows welcome on in um this is the jelly bean legacy challenge everybody hope y'all are having a good day um okay <clears throat> I kind of want to do something here. It does have some like some influence here. I don't know if it's going to be that, but I want to hang something from there. Like some sort of a lamp. I don't know what it would be. I think I might be able to like. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. How y'all doing today? I'm going to do negative two. Oh, okay. So it's going to. All right. So we can elevate this by 0.5. So something like this. <clears throat> like very black, white, and wood tones? No, not necessarily, no. Um, the ones that I've seen are very, like, they're very cozy. I think Huga, I think is what it's called. Very cozy, lots of cream tones, muted, muted tones and stuff. Um, and wood tones, too. And white. Not necessarily, like, black. Um, I'm gonna do this, and I gotta remember. Okay, so we're gonna undo that, actually. Okay, so I don't know if I liked that specifically, but I want to do something very similar and like 
put down something. <sighs> Maybe. Was that probably the closest thing that I could probably find? I could size that down a few times. Should we do something like this, maybe? Because I could even size this down a little bit. I'm gonna go there. And I'm gonna select both of these. So then they're both selected. I'm gonna put these inside. And then we're gonna go to tool mod and I'm gonna elevate this by negative three. But then I'm going to raise it by 0.5. So it looks like they're coming out of the sides of that. And I'm actually going to rotate this, not like this, but I'm going to change the axis and we're going to do that. And then I'm going to do 90. There. And then I could also like either get rid of this or change this other one that we have like on the ceiling which I'm kind of game for that. I could also get, um, do something different for the ceiling one, get like the shorter one and then size it up. So it's more of like a focal point or something. And then we could change the colors. I kind of like that one. Cause to me, that looks pretty good. Tried to um, screenshot because of Richard's placement. Oh no! Tool is awesome, isn't it? But it does, it can feel like calculus sometimes, can't it? Okay. So something like that. That's kind of fun. I kind of like those. Hi, Chloe. Um, lots of pain and suffering. And there was another fire. They burnt their apartment burnt down. And now we are moving into another place. Um, Poppy's house, actually. So exactly on one of those dangly lamps. Oh, was he really? Oh, no. Wait, that's so fun. I'm so sorry that you accidentally closed out, though. That really sucks. Okay, so what kind of le um, like a mirror or something? Would we have a mirror here? Or would there be like some sort of like a painting maybe? So here, maybe I could find like a painting. Mm. Where is it? I think we have one that's going to be like, maybe we could do like horizontally across here. Something from maybe like Dream Home Decorator. That's kind of fun. There's like pops of blue in that. I kind of like it. Oh, a giant portrait of pop of marmalade that Poppy made. Imagine. Ah, it looks so good. How do you guys feel about that? I really like it. Ooh, the frame TV. Uh, probably not in the bedroom, but that would be cool too. I don't. I also don't think there's like swatches that would really suit this area. And I think it looks awesome because this is going to be Clement's bedroom that Poppy designed, I would say. Um, I also feel like she would probably lean more into the like other colors because it's her grandson. You know, I don't know. I just feel like she would be that terrible kind of person to do that. Be like, oh, it's not my daughter. It's my grand. It's my grandson. I'll do what you want now kind of thing. Because let's be honest. She would. Um, all right. So now we kind of have we have something going on in here with this. So I don't know. I think this might be a little bit too big. I'm going to take this and I'm going to actually scale this by like 1.5, I think. Here we go. And then I don't know what to put like on this wall. Um, should he have like a desk of his own or something? I feel like we might do a desk of some sorts for him. Um... I want to find like a little island thing, maybe something like this would be kind of fun. Hi, Brenna. Happy Friday. No worries. I hope you're having a good day. Good to see you. We are moving into a brand new place because their apartment burnt down. Um, It's been insane. Let me tell you. Like literally so crazy. OK, let's do comfort. And then I want to find a bar stool that sort of suits them, but something that might look a little cozier, like something like this. I don't know what color tone we would use. I'm almost thinking of doing something orange, but I think this will be OK. Or would you have like a regular desk instead of like a bar? What do you guys think about that? Because this is the baby's room. And then this is going to be their bedroom. 
um, like a full computer setup, probably. I have no idea. Maybe he would have like a full computer setup, but it's like on a bar or something because you can still do it. Let's do this one and then let's grab like the other end piece. Here we go. Um, he's about to have everything he never had, right? That's kind of, fe I kind of feel the same way about that situation as well. Like he's had things that he's never even had before. Round of meetings. All right, bye. See you soon, Phoebs. Poppy makes him edit. Oh my God. It, it's a lot going on, isn't it? It's so crazy. Caleb's find electronics and Poppy's gonna get him like a BA computer. So probably something like this. There is kind of this like tacky goldish orange color. So maybe we'll do that. Remember, Poppy's just tacky. Oh, right. The pronouns. It is so cool, isn't it? The pronouns is sanctioned. She would free rent as long as he edits and uploads the content, right? And it's just content about the baby. Oh, my God. Oh, it makes me so sick to think about it. But like she would do that. Um... I'm like hard thinking about this. I don't know if I want this or like what I want to have, but I feel like we're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. So we're gonna find comfort and then find some sort of like a bar stool style thing. But what one would suit him? Hmm. This one doesn't, oh, it does kind of come with that orange color, but it's a, it's a different style of orange. Let's find cream. I know, I wonder if Poppy would write him into the will. Bad two stools have an, oh, an orange shade. Okay, so like this one. Is it kind of like a rusty one? There is kind of like a goldish coppery one. Maybe we'll just go here. Hi, Kyber. Hi. My buddy. I get this bubble machine and guitar back. Ooh, yeah. Should we make like a little hangout area somewhere? Where would we, would she? Hmm. Right, the chess club is definitely gonna come hang. <gasps> what if we did it outside? What if it's like here? Oh my God. Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Such a good, oh my God, literally. Okay. So we're gonna do, Kyber, do not go down there, buddy. I swear to God, he keeps going on top of my computer just to lay there. And I'm afraid he's gonna like unplug crap. I'm really annoyed by it. The outside has to be pink, right? Everything has to be pink. I feel like she would, I feel like she would probably let him do a little bit more though. Um, because it's her grandson versus like her child. Hmm. So we're gonna grab some like chairs and crap like that. And they're like not gonna be the nicest. <laughs> so is it this? Okay, here we go. We have that one, and then what would it what would we put around here? Like should they be kind of like mismatched chairs? Maybe that they brought along or something like the friends brought. Dying his hair pink. Oh my God, imagine. Oh, for like a video or something. Imagine if she did it for a video. I could see that. Uh, Laura. Oh yeah. So basically um, their house started or their apartment started on fire. And... Then they got in contact with grandma, Poppy, the first generation. And so um, because they lost everything and he was like, I need help. I can't do this, grandma. And because he's not really talking to Ambrosia, right? So here we are. We're moving in with Poppy, you guys. This is seriously so insane. Not the apartment, right? It's so crazy immediately okay so they do have to be lounge chairs for this one that's kind of annoying can we do like wheelie chairs or anything nope 
looks like they have to be like lounge chairs um renovating the rooms yeah we're making we're making like a hangout place we're ma we're renovating some rooms and crap like that so um we've got places to like chill or whatever okay what else maybe like a hay bale or something or even like just like a stool or maybe here we go let's do like another random one I know I love seriously I like this generation too same I'm kind of with you <gasps> did you guys know there's like nice swatches on this from the basement treasures thing there's like a nice black and a white swatch and a red one I had no idea okay that's kind of fun though all right so we have like a little area where's like a pergola Cause I want it to be like kind of covered just a little pergola thing maybe poppy set it up in the garden I know I'm so glad it's Friday as well um slinky I'm with you so what does everyone have planned for the weekend anything fun poppy would try and video at it hanging with the grandson and it's just like what she oh my god literally though they would what's the thing in the middle that's the bubble machine nothing but sleeping Ooh, okay that sounds fun though that's good that's actually really pretty though nephew's birthday party oh my god he's three dance this weekend that's exciting sunday we have um just so you guys know sunday we have um what the heck is it called you guys um mario kart day so we have mario kart and then uh, so Sunday we're playing that. So we're gonna play Mario Day on Sunday. Mario Day with the beans, exactly. So we're gonna be playing Jelly Bean Legacy on Sunday, and then playing Mario Kart, and then yeah. So tonight I'm also today's like gonna be a longer day because we have game day with our moderators this evening. It's gonna be such a good day. I'm so excited. Um, and then we're gonna do some sort of like music or something out here. But I need to decide. Or find something that's not going to break in the rain or maybe we could just like replace it all the time if it breaks because yeah um i'm trying to make the hangout place for the kids what pack is that from which one are you talking about slinky oh the pergola i think it's my wedding stories um yes my wedding stories it's the fairy tale pergola might take my sister to the mall so we can spend our birthday money, but it might wait till Wednesday when I got my goddaughter because I'm going to Target to take her to the park since I got my license last week. That's exciting, Cupcake. Congrats. My Wedding Stories has a lot of really good items in it, y'all. Just saying. It's really good. Um, I know there's kind of a lot of weird glitches with it, but I think it's less glitchy and more of like very specific with the way that you have to do things, if that makes sense. Like, I think it's very specific. Um, I love the windows. I know the windows are very pretty. They're basically turning this into their hangout, by the way. They're like taking over Poppy's area and she's just gonna let them do it because she gets what she wants, I think. Like, no restrictions for these kids. Um, what if they put this here or where where else would they put that? Do you think that they would like break open some of these hedges and like remove a tree so they could do this? I feel like they might. They're ruining Poppy's perfect garden. You know what I mean? Poppy try to get custody of Ripley. I don't know. I think that's something that we'll definitely like roll for eventually. But I'm not 100% sure if she would like try to like get custody of Ripley or something. Right. They would absolutely cut. They would. That's what I'm saying. They would so cut through these hedges. OK, so I'm also going to add like random little weeds and crap in here. <sighs> like little grassy bits. Um, I also think they might cut this and go like that and put this like over here and then we're gonna also 
make like trampled ground. This tool is laggy, y'all. Let me tell ya. I think it's because of the pink treasure hoard in the basement. I kind of want to turn this back into like a regular residential because it's laggy. Because that was like ruining it for me. There we go, that's better. It's like one of the only problems that I've noticed with this pack or with the residential rental thing is that it's actually glitchy and it's like a little bit laggy. Um, oh my God, I feel she would want them all to say she'd probably become best friends with the mom because she'd always be buying her things, right? And Helena would like eat it up and try to like use Poppy for things. Because like the second that she figures out she's got money, it's over. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not going to be like a very healthy relationship. I feel like Clement is definitely going to like kind of beat himself up about things, you know? But... Helena would take advantage of this crap so much. Um, I wish she did have Roland to leave before this. I know, right? I thought she was going to die. And like, and the fact that she just decided to stay, maybe it's because she realizes that he has like a rich grandma or something, you know? I could see that. Like, oh, rich grandma, and then she sees money, you know? Poppy by a fire, a, a fire sprinkler system. I feel like Poppy would have had a sprinkler, honestly. I think we're gonna get a sprinkler system um, and say she had it because yikes. <laughs> um, that was kind of a thing. Okay, here. I put it in there. Or actually, I'm gonna put it like behind one of these. Ambrosia feels about Clem's move to Poppy's house. I don't, I don't know if she'd know. You know, I I don't think she'd know. I have no idea. Um I just I don't know. I don't think they'd talk to her because they're like not on talking terms or anything either. Make the walls taller on the plane shell. Yes, you can do that. <clears throat> You can make them taller if you want to. What kinds of like things would he have back here? Okay, so we're probably gonna do like a photo series. Poppy is doing the design for him. Clement doesn't really have like, a, oh, maybe we could do like some of his favorite posters that he had as a kid, but like in the frames, cause they do have some that are nicer looking and stuff. So maybe, ooh, maybe we do like some movie posters. Something like that. I feel like those would be good ones for Clement in his bedroom. Um, okay. So I feel like this is good. I know movie posters do like, but like it's him, but it's still like more elevated, you know, since he's missing on movies until now. That's true. I know. Isn't that so cool, Nick? That's from high school years. Okay. And then I want to find like some sort of a dresser. Hi, Willow. Welcome on in. How you doing? So good to see you, friend. What's happening? Is there like a black version of this or something else that would work very well? Not really anything that I'm seeing. Um. Okay, what else do we have? Um. Didn't mean to yell. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I get it too, though, Nick. Hi, but welcome. I hope everyone's doing good. Um, You guys, we've had a really crazy morning already. Like, it's actually been insane. Like, some of the crap that we have already been through. Because if you remember, we just moved into this, into their apartment. But then all of a sudden, we had a fire. So, heart attack when she finds out about all this, right? Oh, my God, she probably would. She's I know I think I think she's going to be really mad when she finds out that like Clement moved in with her mom like she's scrambling for control. It's a control thing for Ambrosia. You know, that's kind of the the type of sim that we decided she was going to be. OK, that's cool. So now we get to work on the nursery. Isn't this going to be fun? Um, 
I do want to have it on like a little platform. I don't know, like, hi. Yes, Clement moved in. Yeah, Clement moved in with Poppy. They, their bus burnt, you know? They lost their bus. And then they moved into that mold-ridden apartment. They literally, like, it started on fire, if you remember. Um, the apartment did. Um, like, as soon as we moved in. And then uh, they were like, this is really hard. Because they had nothing left again. They, like, everything just, like, up in smoke. Gone. Done. Um, and then they called Poppy and then they were like, oh, my God, um, Grandma, can you please help us? And she's like, yeah. And then it was it was kind of like. With the idea that Poppy could make content with the baby kind of thing, because you remember she's like a toxic mom influencer and like she used the Apple generation as their kids for her content kind of thing. So, yeah, we had another fire, another fire. Saw them in the news or something and showed up as your droid to save the day. Oh my god. Oh my god. What if she did? What if what if Poppy showed up with the baby or with their droid and like streaming it and stuff? I could see that being a thing. Like she showed up to the scene of the fire, you know? Oh my god. Um, that would be a very poppy move. Let me just tell you that right now. Like literally live streaming them to to stay right i'd believe it seriously okay i need to find like a good cute color i think i'm gonna go with like a lot of like pastels and stuff in here and then use yellow accents because this is like orange but i don't think that's what we would do also this one kind of comes with a few colors but none of it really sticks out to me because remember this is the yellow generation would it be something like this probably not Maybe even that one looks a little cuter to me. It looks less cheap to me. I'm gonna do some more work on your shell build. That's exciting. Live streaming and then it goes up, go for me to help, but needs them keeps the money. Puppy, she would she would be that person. 100 percent She would. That's a good one. Some work on your shell. That's exciting. Okay. I wanna go in the gallery and find like pineapple pictures. Cause this is the pineapple gen. So you go under. Oh, shoot. Hopefully it's going to let me connect to the gallery. Sometimes it's weird. I might have to restart my game. Thank you for the follow, by the way. If you guys are on TikTok, I'm also live on Twitch if you want to stop on by. Um, we're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge, and it's crazy. I'm going to restart my game really fast, you guys. I'm going to save. Restart the game. Um, Because the gallery connectivity is weird, and I want to find, like, photos of pineapples on the gallery and, like, you have to obviously have the gallery logged in to do that. But um, you're hanging your shell. Seriously, I'm really I'm really interested to see what you guys do with this shell because it is a nightmare. I have a brand new shell challenge on the gallery, by the way, you guys. Um, My boyfriend built it and he does not play The Sims. So that is fun. Some more work on your shell. I love it. Uh, playing bubblegum Jen has been so fun. I'm trying to think of the toxic things for her to do, right? Really? What was your dream like, though, nerd? Because you said you literally dreamed about things that you wanted to do with the shell, and you're like, you woke up super early this morning to do it. I love it. Okay. Working on it right now. Hi, Charlie. Um, so their apartment started on fire, and then we rolled the dice to see if they would call Poppy to move in, and they did. Helena almost died in the fire, but didn't. So toxic. She is Jules, isn't it? It's so fun to kind of like fabricate the drama, you know, and like really run headfirst into that. It's a blast. These fires, seriously. We put sprinkler systems in here without spoilers. Let's do the round walls and windows. Nice. That's exciting. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do when it comes time for me to, to do mine. I have no idea. I, I don't have an idea of what I want to do. So fun for you. Not good at storytelling in my gameplay. Nice. Do you feel like the, do you feel like the challenge rules help you guys with that aspect? Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How y'all doing today? We're building for our jelly bean legacy. So this is the second or the 
we're our third generation and we're moving back in with grandma so the first generation who was very toxic and our mom never had contact with her it never was a good relationship she cut her off and then um clement the orange generation needed help in a pinch and so we're moved back in um structure helps me a lot but also i play so few and far in between that i uh, forget storylines that i don't write them down etc oh right no i get that completely on the game open and one monitor and pinterest on the other nice we're making the perfect family. This has been so fun because the drama, drama and trauma, right? We jokingly call it like the generational leg or the generational trauma challenge. <laughs> I really want to make like a five generation base game challenge, like a mini one that anyone can play if they want. Because they, if they have base game, but I don't know what I would do. Um, need to learn how to better record my stories. I have a Discord a chat to help uh, about them helps with that. Yes, exactly. No, I get it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to connect to the gallery. Is anyone else having problems with that right now? Because this is really weird. I really want pictures of pineapples and I don't think I'm going to be able to get them. Your first storytelling gameplay. I'm excited. That's nice. I always like seeing what you guys post to Discord about all of it. Haven't been in the gallery for a few days. I'm just glad that we didn't have any problems with it. Like my EA app, right? Should I try to restart my EA app? I'm going to try that really fast, you guys. So give me just a second. Please hold. My gallery's open. Okay. Yeah, I do wonder. And working. Okay. Good to know because I need the pineapple things. I need it. I'm going to exit. And then we're going to reopen it. It's probably going to make me relog. So this is going to take just a second. Yeah, mine was working last night, too, for like the shell tours and stuff. Thank goodness. OK. I have restarted my EA app. Got mine open on Xbox, but I can't click in the type box. Oh, that's weird. The EA app disconnected itself, even though I'm online and it's such. Yep. Like. Before I just restarted my, my EA app, um, it was not online. Or like my, my little thing didn't say, like in the corner, it didn't say I was like, it wasn't green, it was gray. So I wonder if that's part of it maybe. Um, so I don't know. All right, let's go. Um, what's gonna happen, you guys? I literally, this freaking challenge, you guys, is giving us a run for our money. This is probably the most drama ridden challenge I think I've ever played. I say that a lot, but like, I can't believe it. I'm really terrified of what's going to happen with the, the, the pineapple generation because sh he has to have like a whole bunch of different partners, have at least two kids with two different partners never get married like just a completely broken messed up house like home that he's obviously we're seeing how terrible this has been for him so far um literally a lot of issues with steam last night but ea was surprisingly okay Ooh, okay all right friends is she Is she Poppy's fan? She's wearing Poppy's clothes. Because that was one of the things that Poppy had, like people like would dress up as her. Oh my God, that's great. Oh my God. The house, seriously. Is she gonna be like her little pocket girl? I feel like they would be those really toxic, toxic, like, besties. Just not. Oh, my God, you guys. This is very interesting. Um... Very, very fascinating. Okay. 
how to use my controller to type in it, uh, but I found Goat Granny's Pineapple Chateau. Nice. That's perfect. I like it. I need to find some cute pineapple pictures. Okay, some of these are adorable. Some of those are kind of fun. I kind of like those. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. How you doing? I'm searching for pineapple artwork for our fourth generation's bedroom. Oh my God, should we go like super aesthetic? Something like this, maybe? Clement was your grandson before they ever got together. Uh, I don't know. Is she social climbing? I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, no. I don't know. Maybe. Hi, Ames. Open only for the family uh, that you've been playing with. I was outside for a couple hours cleaning up my garden and planting some bulbs for showing. That's exciting. How'd that go? Um, we've had a lot of drama. I'm going to be honest. There's a lot that has happened today. Um, and we're only two hours into stream. Um, within the first hour, we had to move already. So that's been nuts. Okay, so guys, we got pineapple. Fun and sun. Would we do like the watercolor things or something kind of like this? Something like kind of like this is kind of cute. Or even these. Not so much those ones. That feels more kitchen to me. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome on by. How y'all doing today? Okay. So I think I am going to go with some of these. This one is just the one that is kind of like sticking out the most to me. I'm going to put it here. I know she did hop in that bush really quickly, didn't she? <gasps> what if we did this? Would this be cute for like a little baby nursery or something? Or even like something like that? I know those are very cute. I don't know what one I want to use yet, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so another thing that I want to try to do. When Clemen got kicked out and contacted Poppy and got some money, ooh, maybe she discovered that that's it then, right? Try to Clemen to get Poppy as a super stan. Ooh, oh my God. She would, she would do that. She would though. Like she would have known and then try to get ahead and she got with him. That is, that is a very real potential, I think. Um, okay, so I want to get the name going here. Very manipulative, right? So I want to get letters, like pictures, and I want to spell the name. Um, we want to spell Ripley. Those are kind of fun. I might bring these in just to see what they look like. Oh, no, you got hired. Oh, my God, that's exciting. That's always like anxiety inducing. You're like, oh, my God. Nah, those don't fit. Uh-uh. Not as much as I was thinking. Um, so I'm looking for alphabet letters, like something that um, I can spell the name, obviously. Those are kind of fun. Obviously, they spell the name, but like R I. P L There's no E because we need Ripley. Okay. Oh, what are those? Cross stitch? <gasps> That's actually so cute. Oh my god. Hi, Kitty. Welcome on in. How are you today? Good to see ya. We have a very drama ridden day. Oh my God, that's so cute. All right, P. Aw, Jenny, by the way, um, it's not good etiquette to go into someone's stream and talk about another person's stream just as a heads up. That is, uh, that is so, I know right? it's so cute about the cross edge. It is, isn't it? R-I-P-L-E-Y. 
E. Y. Here we go. I wish they were more yellow, though. But. That is actually very, very, very adorable. Oh, my God. How do you guys feel about that? They're centered on the wall. I know, isn't this so cute? Oh my god. Also, thank you so much for the um for the roses on TikTok. That is so nice. You guys like it? Okay, I think I might too. Isn't it so fun? I kind of want to do like a little a little moment like this down here. Right? Maybe like Poppy made them or something. I could see it. Put the rainbow pineapple with them. Oh, that's true. That is a good point. Oh, wait a second. I know they kind of do match the pineapple, don't they? Except I'm going to try to like center it a little bit. Oh man, I don't think it's going to work the way that I was thinking it would. Ripley, aw. Unless I just kind of go like this. Yeah, it's not going to work because it's, a, it's weird. The name signs, the gallery. The gallery has all sorts of cute things. Um, okay. So here's the thing. Send to the P and the I above it. Okay, that's a good idea. Or the P and the L. What about that? I think that's pretty cute. Okay, I have an idea though. Um, this is gonna get weird for just a second. All right, we're going to go here. Um, I could have also used tool, I guess, for that, but A, it's fine. So it's not like sticking out so far kind of thing. We're going to ignore that on the other side. <laughs> Let's get weird, right? I think I like it. I'm also going to delete this, too. We're fine. We don't I don't think we really need that anymore. Oop. Hold on a second, guys. We deleted all that stuff because I think we created a new room technically. There we go. That's so much better. Okay. That's really cute. How do you guys feel? Should I um should I find like another crib with something else in here? Um, because I are like a different color. I don't think that we really have a lot with other colors. Um oh my god, it was like the bed under yeah, that was for the butler is what that was instead or whatever because we had a butler for the first generation uh up a little is it below the crib edge um i could move it up just a little bit right because i put the i put the butler under there because i didn't have space for a butler and six children love this house pink and gray combo in the main area is just aw I'm so glad you like it poo that was our first generation's house that was so fun to make oh my god wait a second a little bit of brown kind of in there and I could like raise this just a little bit so do elevate like 0.25 or something 
or negative 0.15. Ooh, okay. Or even that purpley color. Okay, like purple and yellow. I could see it, but we do like mostly yellow because obviously it's this, it's the, like this generation. It's the yellow gen or whatever. Pineapple, but so cute. I think I really like it, isn't it? Um... Should I try to find like a dusty purple? Oh my God, something like this. That could be kind of fun. Um, like a little bit of a color block moment almost. I don't know. How are we feeling? I don't really know. Ba Lucky baby. I know, right? It literally just got like the best upgrade because of like from the floor of a moldy apartment. Literally, though. With a yellow and purple, right? I think this might be the way that I want to do it. I might also like bring this in. There we go. Again, this is adorable. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like it. I love the letters, isn't it? I'm, it's so fun and like all the different colors. Pillar on the platform edge. That's kind of what I was thinking as well. Like getting a little uh, pillar of sorts in there. I don't know if we'd want to do uh, like white. Ooh, what if we want like something really fun? Um, Because I think they have some really fun looking pillars. That would be really fun. Where's the Strangerville ones? Because they have some cute colors. Let's see. Strangerville. Here we go. Ripley is a boy, but you know, you don't have control over your nursery. So it's kind of just at the will of whoever designs your bedroom, I think. Those are kind of fun. Um, and then for the edge of this platform, so cute and yes, pineapple is, for, is yellow, but we're dealing with Poppy who likes to overbear kids with content. Exactly. So like everything just has to be super aesthetic, I think, for her. Um, should I do like a dusty purpley color or something under here? Or yellow. We could do the yellow or even just brown. Because I want to get that lip off of there. Um... What about that? Uh, there's light strips that look like pillars. Oh, right. I think you're right, though. I think I like those a little bit more. Purple would be brilliant somewhere in here. Yes. So you think like, because this is purple on the walls. Pastel dusty purple, right? That one is really close, I think. Or actually, you know what, you guys? We don't even have to use like a platform trim because I can legitimately just do this and then your Sims can just straight up walk over it. And then you can grab like some wall trim things and then we could do this or I could like mash it, mesh it with like the, the floor. Um... A birthday on their own without any real money. Aw, um, you can spend time and like watch movies and stuff like that. Invite like someone over. Um, maybe if you can like make something light for dinner, carpet or rug under the crib. Uh, this is rug already right here. I think I like this one here. I know these colors are very cute together. I kind of I want to see if we have like a purple like pillar. I don't know if we, we literally have like, this is it. And that doesn't feel nursery to me. So I'm just gonna nix that plan completely. What if we did something white? So it's not so crowded feeling. Okay, I could see the white. And then for like the top of this, cause the white really meshes very well together. And then we could do like white up here. This one's a little bit like thicker looking. Like that. 
a neon nursery. Imagine. I'm using these colors when I do my nails. They're, they're very Easter, aren't they, Jaxie? Okay, that's cute as heck. Full on lights 24 seven, imagine. <laughs> She never knows when she wants to get into the baby's room to film some stuff, you know, the content or whatever. Like, oh my God, come check out my grandson with me vlog. I swear, Poppy is the worst type of person, y'all. Poppy is terrible. If you guys don't remember Poppy, you're in for a trip. She's kind of unhinged and very self-centered. Where is this going? Um, Changing table, okay. So what? They have this changing table here. And then I think I might have it match with the purpley color. Just because it, wait, that's not a changing table at all. That's like a crib, honey. Do we have a changing table that matches that one? I could have sworn. Um, oh, some pretty curtains that Amos, that would be really cute, actually. Let me definitely do that. All right. I think this is really all that we have, don't we? Hi, Cassie. Oh my God. Where do I even begin, you guys? Um, our apartment started on fire and now we're moving in with Poppy. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, we got it off the gallery. I actually want to like save this to the gallery for myself because there's like a bunch of them. So I'm actually going to go here. Yeah, it, it was insane like we it started on fire and then uh, um they were like this is hard should we call grandma and then he called poppy so i feel like ambrosia is gonna like pop a blood vessel just thinking about her her precious little baby turning to grandma instead of her like she's losing control type of thing. Those are so sweet. They have like more neutral letters to you guys. The alphabet cross stitch, that's so cute. Um, I know these, seriously, these poor kids in fires, but here's the thing. Um, Um, guys, I want to see what these are going to look like. Oh my God, these are so cute. Okay, hold on. They're like little baby blocks kind of things, y'all. Oh my God, R.I.P. L. E. Y. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh my God, what do we like more? I think the other ones match the pastel aesthetic a little bit better. But those are very, very, very cute. And I will absolutely be using those in the future. Um, yeah, you can find all sorts of cute crap on the gallery, by the way. Um, so cute. Aw, oh, thank you, Halls. I'm so glad you like it. My music. But yeah, these are these are more pastel. So I feel like those just work very well. They're basically you can see that they were also the same exact ones, but they're just cross stitched. You can see that. The blocks. I know a, pre a preschool, imagine the blocks like that, a spelled, oh, I'm gonna that spelled your name. That is so cute. I like that nerd. Oh my God, that's adorable. How do I feel about this yellow color over here with this, with this set? I think this is probably okay. I thought about having like all carpeting in here, but I just don't know. I think then to balance this area, cause there's no, there's no, there's no changing table that matches this. I think this is the closest one. Um, I could do that. Maybe I will. So the woods match. Actually, I think we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna pick a rug that's purple or yellow. Actually, no, we're gonna do yellow. Like a pastel yellow rug. This one is very bright, but that's also very cute.
Oh my god, imagine. Um, yes, all three of them plus the cat is gonna live with Poppy. Yep, we're all here. It's interesting. Um, I'm really curious to see how unhinged Poppy is gonna be towards all of them and like what she's gonna do. Is she gonna be like a very damaging person? I have no idea. Bubble tea place I just launched a coconut water series. Oh, that sounds really good, actually. That's that sounds very, very refreshing, actually. Like a bubble tea with coconut milk or coconut water. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, Helena's still here. She almost died in the fire, actually. Um, so that was insane. <laughs> So we had a fire in our apartment. Okay, what else? How do we feel about the, um, the rug that we have here? I feel like it's kind of fun. It feels very nursery to me. Because some of these other ones are like a little bit like bright for what I want because I want baby pastel colors. <gasps> oh my God, I wish this ones were more dilute. That's really cute too. I know, isn't that so sweet? I think this might be it. We thought about maybe doing something like this. But I don't know, what do you guys think? I think just in here will be just fine. Uh, don't, right, it definitely fits the room. That's kind of how I feel. All right, I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work. Maybe. Yeah, it's on a platform. Yeah. Um, it's like a little rug. I also kind of like how much yellow is going on in here for the baby, too. So someone had also mentioned curtains. And I really like that idea. So we're going to mess around with some curtains. And I want to see, like, what kind of light yellow color that we have. Um... Something sheer like this would be really fun. Then I could even like size these up and kind of like put it up here. Oh my God, that's so cute. <gasps> so we could do this or we could do these. But one of the kids' carpets are in the room, bedroom sets. There are some cute shapes for the kiddos. As long as we have like a yellow color or like a pastel purple that would mesh, I think we that would work. Um. Okay, just based on the size of those and stuff, I think we're gonna go with the sheer curtains, but I'm gonna like double layer them. So I'm gonna size this up and then we're gonna go here. And I'm actually gonna like move this over just a little bit and we're gonna double layer ourselves. And it wasn't very precious. I'm kind of with you. Okay, that is so cute. How do you make things bigger? Uh, you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard. So like um, these buttons. I think I like the curtains too. Should I double side it? Hold on a second. Let me undo this and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, oh no, we're going to get weird like lighting glitches and stuff. So we have to be a little bit selective with how we do this. Um, I know, I think I like it too. Oops. Take this and that, and we're gonna do this and put it there, and then we're gonna make that bigger. Oh no. Okay. So. We are getting weird lighting glitches and I don't know why. Oops, I think it's probably because of that. Maybe, maybe not. Oops. Please hold. Here we go.
All right. How are you guys feeling about that? Okay, so yeah, they don't show upstairs anymore, so we're good. Um, okay. So I am actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring these in. All right, hold on. Uh, no. It's so tricky to select them when they're like directly on top of each other to be able to find out where you're trying to click. Come on, please. Not that! Oh my God. Oh my God, because they're on top of each other. There we go, okay. I'm gonna like raise it by 0 0.015. So we're all together and then I'm gonna select all of these. Oh God, this is gonna be so annoying. Okay, here we go. There we are, so then I'm gonna elevate it by 0.15. So they're closer together. So there's not as much of like a weird gap in between them. I think that'll be good. So 0.15. Here we are. So yeah, we have a little nursery area. Hi, Kristen. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Good to see ya. We're rebuilding. We're building a nursery for Ripley right now. This is very interesting. Um, we lost everything in a fire again. So yeah, here we are rebuilding once again, but we moved in with Poppy of all people. All right. I feel like that Ambrosia is going to have a really difficult time with that idea. And is she even going to find out in the first place? I guess we'll find out, but that's cute. I really like the, the curtains. That does look really nice though. So fun. Okay. Honest opinion. Um, do you guys want them just like that? Maybe? I don't know. Let's try 0.25. And see if they stick up. Okay, they do stick down up a little bit. So maybe I'll like undo that. Conversation for har oh, seriously right. Harvest fest. <laughs> okay, I think that looks cute. There we go. I agree though, Marsh, best on one side, right? I like end capping them both, but like, I think that that, this since there's like a little bit of a gap, I think we're okay. Okay, what kind of like baby photos or little things could we put over here? Cause I like the pineapple. That's just cute as heck. Um, I think I might go with, God, there's some, some of these. Let's find some cute little like pictures to put on the wall here. Um, there's like yellow, there's like the little bunny rabbit. And then I think like this little guy is going to be so cute too. But I'll see if we can get some good colors. So we do have both of these that could be like this yellow color. And I think that's good. I can't really see like a lot of other things. I know those are super cute, aren't they? I agree. Or we could even go like this too. So like we extend the room a little bit more. So maybe we'll do that. And like some dolls that are like yellow. <sighs> dolls or some little toys or something, something yellow. I don't think I'm really seeing a lot of things that are actually yellow that are like not toys or something. <gasps> oh my God. I want to play Sims when I'm tired. Aw, I get that. I understand. Sometimes it can be kind of hard if energy levels are not great. Oh, no, definitely don't want to size that one up. At least that size. I could like do, I could use tool to kind of do like a half away in between size, but um, let's see here, friends. 
instead of this rug, maybe we'll use this one. I personally think that fits a little bit better because the stripes felt a little too harsh in my head. <gasps> Wait, what about this? Do you have like a cute color? Because it's got yellow in it. The mobile thingy. What else could we do? We don't really have a ton of yellow things. They're just not here. Um, nope, not a lot of yellow under the kids section. <gasps> this bunny. Okay, here. And then I feel like we need to have like, thanks you Willa. Has been hotel. I have not. <clears throat> I've never seen or I've heard of it, but I've never I'm not really like familiar with what it's like or what it's supposed to be. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. How y'all doing today? That's kind of fun. It's kind of like a, a pastel, like beigey yellow color. Let's go under comfort and see if I can find like some sort of like maybe a rocking chair or a chair that you would have in like a nursery or something that could be yellow. Uh, oh, that one actually does look very cute. Not like, OK, so thinking of like baby books or something for the baby. Um, There's not really anything under yellow that I want. I could do this one, but I don't know if it's what I want. Maybe. That is really fun. Let's try something decorative on the walls that is gonna be yellow again, like once again. Um, do I have anything here? Okay, let's see, that one's okay. That one looks pretty good. Nothing particular. Hi, Sloth. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Good to see ya. Oh my God, wait, what if I did something like this up here? In the back? No, that's too many little curtains and stuff. I thought about it, but meh. Um... Oh, wait a second. OK, so why does this keep getting weird whenever I size it up, though? It keeps like messing with the colors, even though it's like inside the house. OK. Hi, Bagel. Welcome on in. How you doing today? OK, friends, genuine question. All right. I know that I worked so stinking hard to get those down, but I'm kind of wanting to see what it's going to look like with like the more solid curtains, like these tied back ones with all those cute colors on them. Because I think that this could be really, really, really adorable. Um, and I'm going to try this and then I'm going to use tool to size them up and move them and everything because yeah. OK, so we got to go to like right there. Actually, in just a little bit is totally fine. OK. Because I want to bring in more of that color, Um, the cross stitch letters. I got that off the gallery. So if you go under rooms on the gallery and then search like letters under keywords, you can find like rooms, letters is the keyword. And then um, it'll pop up with things that have that hashtag on it. And then you can find like cute little items like this. Um. Like painting, non gal, like non custom content, like artwork. Scale, let's do 1.5. Okay, those are totally gonna have to come in a little bit. I'm gonna elevate these by like one. I'm gonna try one again. I'm gonna do 0.15. OK, those are not going outside of this bedroom, which I'm OK with. Uh, they, yeah, they don't live in the bus, so the bus started on fire. 
And then we abandoned it. And then they got themselves like an apartment in a pinch. And then um, it, that also started on fire. So then they called Poppy. They're like, Grandma, this is way too hard. Um, can you please help us? And then uh, they moved in with Poppy. So, you know, I'm really curious to see what's going to go on. I feel like Poppy is like, okay, under one condition. Um, you guys, like, I need to be able to, like, do what I want. And, like, for content or whatever with this, with the baby. You know, I want to, I want to show off my grandchild or my great grandbaby because I never got to show off my grandchild. Can, like, you guys need to let me have that kind of thing. I know, right? This is so much cuter. Oh, my God. What do you guys think of the colors? I know it's not yellow, technically, but like, Kyber, are you really, why are you, hold on a second, guys. I think it looks so much cuter. Kyber. 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 You little butthole. I'm going to show you guys, look. Um, she, yeah, she's just capturing memories. Look at him. <laughs> He slips between the wall and like everything and gets down there on top of my computer. What a little dork. He's so cute. He is. As long as Kyber, listen, as long as you don't unplug anything, we're on good terms, okay? Speaking of which, I'm gonna save. Cat antics, he really is being a cat. Don't, why are you being so stupid about it, Kyber, please? Please don't go that way. You come up, okay? Listen, this is a deal. If you're going to be down there, you need to come up this way. He's very much so a cat. Save immediately, right? Just in case it like unplugs or whatever. I can't handle it. Silly kitty. He's like, mom, it's nice and warm, right? I mean, he's always slept there. But now it's just in a different spot because I have like a new desk and whatever. He's such a dweeb. What a dweeb of a cat, y'all. Okay, I'm in love with this, you guys. This is so sweet. Do we have like a, a purple rug? Ah, the yellow looks better. Cardboard because the cat come unplugging the fish tank. Oh my God, they're trying to kill the fish. <laughs> Literally, what the heck? Silly kitties. I love him so much, but he's a giant dork. Kyber, I'm talking crap about you. You know that? What are you doing down there, huh? Give me a sec. He's being so cute. Kyber. Kyber. <laughs> it was really fun. We actually played Bunko last night. That was a lot. It was a blast. So yeah, that's Kyber. Being a little dork back there. What a dweeb. Um, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun though. Um, as my dad says, cats are doofed wall well. Doof, doofed waffles yep sure are just goofy goofy kitties okay something else um i want something on this wall maybe some sort of like a fun mirror probably mom it's my spot exactly literally he's willing to tell anyone about it too Okay, ooh, this one does have like a yellow mirror on it. Something your dad would say, right? <laughs> There's a little mirror. I don't know if it like really suits the nursery idea. Maybe there's, ooh, maybe it should be like toys instead. Hi, Tawny, welcome on in, how are you? Look at how cute this is. Isn't this adorable? Also, the, the ceiling, I forgot about the ceiling, but that actually works very well still with this. We need more like toys and decorations and stuff because I feel like it's really boring in here right now. Like we need more and I don't know what to do. Super cute. Yes. So basically their apartment started on fire. So listen, their apartment started on fire and then they freaking called Poppy up. And they were like, hey, this is hard. Because remember, their bus started on fire and now their apartment was on fire. And they're like, Grandma, can we come live with you? And she's like, yeah. But then Poppy's like, mm, you need to have the content. 
Blarfy. Ooh, the giraffe is actually really cute, though. I like it. We'll do the rainbow one. Because that's cute. It feels very child life. Uh, an orange Blarfy? Uh, I don't know. That's a great question, actually. So we have this Blarfy. Kyber, he's making me so nervous, y'all. There's a pink one and a blue one. Maybe we'll just go with like a standard Blarfy. Um, I'm sure there's an orange Gruffalo from Little Campers Kit. Ooh, or like, well, we're, like, we're not looking for orange. We're looking for like yellow and purples. A Gruffalo? Pepper the Penguin. Actually, that's so cute. An orange Gruffalo. Wait, should I do like the, the penguin? Maybe. What about the dog? Something in there. Oh my god, maybe it's a giant marmalade! A giant marmalade kitty instead. It's kind of like orangey yellow. What do you guys think about that? Bun Bun the Unlockable Blarfy comes in yellow. Oh! How do you guys feel about that? The, the orange one? The cat is so cute. I think that's probably a good idea. I know it's so cute though. So bun bun. Let me look up bun bun. Bun bun. <gasps> this one. It does come in yellow. Oh my God. I think I'm going to put this one out here because like we could have multiple, you know. Grandma, great grandma's making sure we have everything. Okay. Precious. I know. I know any kid would love it. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. So we're making it like really aesthetic um for yellow because poppy is in her great grandma era right now and she's using that to her advantage you know what i mean maybe i'll group like a bunch of little toys in here the bigfoot stuffy the bigfoot is really cute um twitch keeps putting the first two letters i type in the end of my sentence oh that's weird Oh, wait, how do I feel? OK, do you, I think I like the rainbow one more. I know the great and doing an amazing job, right? She's like. Wait, oh, my God, uh, when he turns into a toddler, I think we're going to do like dinosaurs. I'm feeling dinosaur kid uh, when he becomes a toddler. It's kind of what I'm thinking. How do you guys feel about that? Poppy's money. Yep, we're using Poppy's money to do it. So they're kind of here. They moved in under one condition, and it's that she could help raise the grandbaby. <gasps> that is so cute. Raise the grandbaby and um, do anything that she wants for like content and stuff with the with the kid, as you remember, because that's kind of Poppy's thing. So that's what we're going with. There's a tiger. Yeah, that's for rent. That is so cute. I can really see dinosaurs as well. Same. Um, on the website, not mobile. Mine's the first letter. Oh, that's weird. That's really strange that like Twitch is being a little bit weird then. Com right? I completely miss the tiger until now. Well, I saw it, I think, when it came out, but I miss it until like now. You know what I mean? Oh my god, the little teddy bear. We're going to do the teddy bear. Twitch is very much so always weird. I agree with that statement. Twitch is twitchy, as we like to say. I think I'm also going to, like, move this down with tool just a little bit. Negative 0.15. Oh, just kidding. 0 0.025. 0 0.05. Okay. Okay. Let's go down and have a peek. OK, his butt is firmly seated on that. <laughs> right. Twitch is always weird in my experience as well. Um, so I need to put some other little things in this corner. What would be over here? More toys, something infants room. I don't know. 
Um, what do you guys think? A Richard cameo? Oh, you need you need a Richard cameo, right? I love it. Isn't he beautiful? There you are, Bagel. How are you? By the way, good to see you again. How have you been? Um, something here in the corner. What is this gonna be? I have no idea. What do you guys think? Should go like in this corner. I'm kind of stuck. So it's for it's for kids. I'm doing really good though. Welcome on in. We're um so this is uh ushering in like a very new chapter. A doll size oh dollhouse size down. Hmm. Um, uh oh, Kyber, the screen just had a green pink line when you switch cameras, right? I think it's because of the cord or something instead, though. A lamp or maybe clutter basket. Oh, I like the idea of like a clutter basket of baby things. OK, that's a good one, actually. I'm th I was thinking more like clutter blankets, something. I like that. Because didn't they come out with like a base game little basket that we had full of toys? It was like this. That's actually really cute. Um, that's an option or this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. There's a shelf with diapers. Ooh, I think you're probably right. There's like some little things here. I, I know, isn't it so cute? I'm trying to spend some time in this nursery, you know? Um. Yeah, there's like things that go that came with base game and they're like wall decorations. I think it might be under kids. And if we go everything, we can like kind of search. Because there's some cute crap in here like this thing. I could see if there's a good swatch on that. We have other random little bits and bobs. Ripley in, in like his first really nice room, right? I know. And, he, and he's not even going to be able to remember like all of the crap that he went through because he was an infant when it happened. <gasps> that rug is really cute. I do like the yellow, though. I feel like it feels fees more than the yellow. That's really cute. Uh, outfit upgrades now that he's living with Poppy. I feel like he would get some very big outfit upgrades. I think that's probably the right way for us to handle that. By the way, Twitch is going to play ads in just a second. So thank you for hanging out. I'm going to keep kind of sifting through. But when we had gameplay, I'll pause for you. Thank you so much for chilling. And I will be back in just a few. I really appreciate you guys. Um, He's going to get outfit upgrades. Yes. Um, I read that already. But yes. Um, I wonder. I feel like she's overdone it. Like maybe she's overdone it with the pink thing and she's like wanting to try something new. So it's like yellow, you know? I could see that. The little lamb stool. Oh my God, the little lamb stool would be adorable. Where was that? That was, was that up a little bit more? I forgot that we had the lamb stool. Was that down here? There's like a little fox basket or like it changes critters and stuff. Um, so many rooms. I don't think I've ever used the lamb stool that I can think of, you know, in any occurrence. Um, would Poppy try to be like a very hands on grandma? But like not actually do anything to like better the baby, but just like live stream herself being the best grandma and like really hyper obsessed with it. I think so. Um, oh, you just sort of oh, growing together. Oh, was it a growing together thing? OK, that makes total sense. Um, or maybe she would kind of like do some things with the baby. I feel like they're going to be inseparable. For better or for worse. Anywho, so you said it was growing together or something. OK, I could see it. Let's see. Let's see. Growing together. Here we are. Wait, the potty chair. 
And then we don't need that yet, but eventually, oh my God, that's gonna be so fun. <gasps> Here it is. Oh. These have such cute, cute, cute colors on them. Um, I am gonna do the yellow, I think. Um, would we do this in here? Because I don't necessarily want it to be like used, even though I think they will still like sit on it, but maybe it's just here like in the corner. That's cute. That is so cute. You can like raise things up and down and whatever. Maybe you could do purple. Little splash of color or something. No, here we go. There. There we go. That's good. Oh, I like that. Uh, I feel like Poppy would throw in a Stravagant birthday parties and stream it and invite literally everybody. Oh, no. Right? Except for like Ambrosia or something. She's got to keep that petty energy going. Um, the yellow. Here we are. We've got yellows and purples going. Um... There we have our little shelf. Oh no, you were typing in the wrong box. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Oh, okay. All right, so we have some little things there. There's like their little changing table that looks so cute. I really love it. Um, and then I think we're gonna like get pictures of the actual baby and probably Poppy up here because like, that's who she is but we have this bedroom all done all good to go um that's really 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 cute i really like the way this one turned out honestly i'm super proud of it and then this is clement and uh what's her name's bedroom so poppy we were saying that poppy did design these rooms do you feel like clement's room is pretty good like I feel like he'd want to go more grungy but grandma's like forcing this on him and he doesn't really say anything because he didn't have anything before Huh, my mom wants to be a nana, not grandma, right? No, I get that too. Uh, no wallpaper. Uh, it's so it's act. There is actually wallpaper. It's from this other pack. What's it called? I can't remember what it was. Um, but there is wallpaper in here. It's from oh Desert Lux or something. I think. Yeah, it's from the Desert Lux kit. <laughs> more mature i know it's a more mature room than he'd ever have also he's gonna invite all of his friends over but we have like this over here thank you so much for the follow oh my god i really oh my god labu you couldn't so you could sleep tonight i'm so glad thank you so much sim chic thank you so much for the two month resub welcome back to the beanie weenie club thank you so much for the follows friends how y'all doing we're playing the jelly bean legacy so we have like all of this crap over here that we're like putting out um, so we can have our gatherings here instead of at the bluffs. So Clement and them haven't really changed. You know, there's still some shenanigans and nonsense going on, right? He got his bubbler bag. He did. I feel like maybe they drug it down from the bluffs or something, you know? Um, so they, oh, um, we're going to put the keg over here because if you guys remember, um, that's kind of what we had going. Maybe we'll do like, this is the pineapple lime one. Oh my God, pineapple, get it. A woohoo bush. Um, maybe we could put woohoo bushes and just kind of work them in there. Into the landscaping naturally. Um, just for the zazz to see kind of what happens because those are really fun to have around, I think. Um, I think there was like a plain bush. I got to go under plumbing, I'm pretty sure. They just make all the poor decisions, don't they? These kids, here we go. The werewolves one does look kind of like it would fit in this area. I think, like, genuinely. Um, I'll probably put it, like, right here. And then we'll put, like, another one over here, probably. Just for good measure. I might do, like, a few of them. Maybe even like a smaller one. I don't know if that'll impact them. Right? Sneaky woohoo bushes. Right? Um, I'm going to like angle those out. If I could get it. So it looks natural in like the landscaping and whatever. Um, And then I'm going to put like another one here. Just so it's there. <laughs> and then probably here. 
think it looks good with the regular landscaping. What do you guys think? I think it suits it. You can hardly see them. Um, so perfect. That's great. Uh, so we have like the little keg thing. And then I don't know if we want to put anything else over here. Or maybe the keg could go here. Maybe it'll go like right there instead. I could see that. Because then should we put the hot tub back? I feel like the hot tub's got to go in here. Um, I think it made sense. But yeah. They could do the hot tub. They could have that. Um, they have like their bonfire or whatever. And then they kind of just started taking over the backyard. And there's like, I don't know if I want to put like garbage somewhere, but maybe we should look under werewolves and see if there's like kind of blah clutter to maybe go around. There's like those yucky outhouses or whatever. That doesn't really suit this, but... What else could we do? Let's look under here and see if there's like crap that we can put around. Because these kids are definitely feral. Maybe there's some like wood. Just like chilling out. Some like logs. That they have for like the fire or something. I don't know. Um, and then... I also forgot that they had a ceiling fan for werewolves. That's kind of fun. Hi, Micro. Welcome on in. How you doing today? I don't really see a ton of random crap. Maybe these instead would make a little bit more sense. I kind of don't hate that idea. Hello. Okay, um, debug, live, edit, blah, blah, blah. Wasn't there a, a like, stump thing? Yes, here it is. It was this. It's just like a, I think it's technically supposed to be, like, a sundial, but I like to see it as, like, a stump that they just kind of, like, pushed things into or whatever. It's kind of like what it is in my head canon at the very least. What else do we have? We have like some factory, like random like rubble crap or something. There's also like a disgusting trailer. Ooh, this. You can put this like little lamp out here. It kind of looks weird. And old. Trying to make it look like they, they like drug garbage out here. A wall chunk that might work turned 90 degrees. Um, like a wall chunk or something. Hmm. I haven't really seen like a lot. Ooh, there's like a chimney thing, that. It's in werewolves, right? Ooh, that's right. It's the Moonwind Mill Tunnel entrance. Oh, I really want to play in the werewolves world, though. I haven't actually done that before. Okay, I'm not really seeing anything out here. Um there i think that's totally okay like they just dragged garbage in here and like they're kind of taking over poppy's backyard but she doesn't care she's because she has her great grandbaby she's the worst okay um i feel like that's pretty good what are we making here um we were making it look like you remember like the meetups and stuff that they had on the bluffs um I'm taking over Poppy's backyard. I also think that maybe we should get like a junkier looking pergola style thing or something instead of like this nice one. I don't know. Does anyone have an idea of if there's like a junky pergola anywhere? Something that looks kind of like blah. A little bit more like haggard looking. I don't know, other baby shovel things at the base game. Oh, comes a few searching for diaper. Oh, right. I I did have like a little bit of like a, a diaper thingy here. Like little diaper thingies. This one. 
It's the deal with it later box is what it's called. Might be a little too nice. Yeah, I did see that one. And I think that one is a little too nice, too. Um, pergolas, right. Most of the pergolas look good or anything under like debug. Maybe I'll look up werewolves because werewolves does have like a lot of disgusting, grungy stuff again. And I wasn't looking for specifically that. Um, something that they just kind of like slapped up or something. This is probably a high wish, but hey, you never know what you can find, I guess. Or vampires, you could, right? Mossy Swatch is more upscale overgrown, right? Um, oh my God, not the gas station. <laughs> it's like a gross gas station. Um... Okay, give me just a second. Casual backyard gas station, right? I have an idea. I don't know if you can do this. I'm gonna flip it 90 degrees or negative 90, probably negative 90, I think. Oh shoot, dang it, you can't. Mm, I was hoping to flip it and then have like a tarp. You know what I mean? Like, and then I was going to make my own, like, DIY pergola thing. Um, and then have the tarps be, like, kind of over it or something like that. But it doesn't look like I can do that. I'm actually going to drag these out for just a second because maybe I could come at it a different direction. Um, is there anything else that is, like, a tarp or something along those lines in, like, a rug? Right? That's kind of what I was thinking, too. something like this you know and it's perfectly square it's a little bit larger than this though but I feel like we might have something going for us um let's see this is gonna like mess this up all weird and it's gonna move everything but hey it'll be fine Little Camper's kit has a tent. Um, I worry it might be a little bit too childish. If I'm thinking of it properly. Um, the toddler string lights raise them up and set the tarps the height of the toddler light poles. Ooh, that would be a good one too. Okay, so we could like go like this. Um... Oh, man, the swatches get so weird. Things get so weird sometimes. Okay, we're going to try 1.5. 1.75. There we go. Um. Oh. Just thinking. Um, toddler string lights. Hi, Olivia. Welcome on in. How you doing? Um, toddler string lights and raise them up and set the tarps to the height of the toddler light poles. So like, are you thinking about these little tarps and stuff? These ones do come with like nasty looking swatches too. Like these gross looking blue ones or whatever. Is that what you're thinking of? Because I think that the tarp that we have on the floor is kind of fun, but I think it might be like a little bit too nice like the tarp curtains okay so maybe I'm gonna get rid of that because like the idea is kind of cool um okay so you said like the toddler string lights so those are under light thank you for the follow by the way welcome on in we're doing the jelly bean legacy and I am basically kind of making a grandson of like an influencer um that is like a nice mansion kind of take over the backyard and he's kind of like a deadbeat um they're a teenager that has like a baby and they got kicked out of their mom's house because there was a teenage pregnancy. But then um, they had a bunch of fires and then grandma invited them to come live there or they asked grandma to go live there. Does the gallery have anything that might work? Um, I don't know. I'd be worried about it being like so specifically like, like a specific size. Um... 
you. Okay, toddler. Anyway, lights, lights, lights. Where are we going? Going to lights. And then you said toddler stuff. I think I know exactly what one you're thinking of. Ooh. The horse ranch one. Might be even more fun. Because horse ranch has kind of like an old yeehaw looking one. They're like old, big round lights. Horse ranch. I think it's debug though. Let's go to horse ranch. So there's nothing under here. I think it's under decorations. Could go all. But they're like the strings of things. Um, let's try to like raise some of these up because we might because I think they actually technically go into the ground. There's some like water. Um, I wanted to look like they just like built this without grandma's permit permission kind of thing. You know, they just started doing it because they're a bunch of like little, little turds. Um, brain malfunction and I lifted a casserole pan lid without oven mitts. Oh my God. I have so done that before. I'm so sorry. Are you okay though? I've so done that. Like more than I care to admit. <laughs> Ooh, it's big. So you said you posted inspiration pictures. Okay. Is it under? Sims building inspiration. Okay. I could see that. So you kind of like just like loop them into themselves. The toddler movie screen is one of the walls. Oh, that would actually be really fun. Which is the best one to get. Um, If you're looking to use it on a computer, or not a computer, but like on a TV, definitely do not get the switch light. The, uh, the OLED switch is not worth it for the money, in my opinion. OLED switch is not worth it. Um, the difference is so minuscule, I think. Okay, I kind of like that idea. So I'm going to use these little like things. And we're going to go like this. I'm gonna size it down. And then I think these might be able to like go here. Ooh, okay. Hi, Jinxie. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Thanks for coming on by. I'm gonna size this down. So scale 0.75. Ooh, 0.75 would be good. No, just kidding. 0.85 maybe. Scale 0.85. There. That actually works out pretty well. And then I could like lower it too. But I'm actually just going to go ahead and like duplicate it. And then we're going to lower everything all at the same time. But I really like that idea of like the curtains and then these like string lights and crap. And I have some other ideas of how I could get this to work, too, and how I can get it to look more like DIY. Um, this is over your head, but I really like it so far. Aw, pretty new at some. Nice! Or at The Sims. That's, that's exciting, though. I'm using, like, mods to do some, like, very DIY-style building. I know, it, de it definitely does look out of place, doesn't it? It's perfect. How do you duplicate in tool? Um, you hold, uh, like you select it and then you hold shift alt. I actually have a bunch of tool videos out there. So if you go to my YouTube, there's like a ton of videos that I have that explain um, all like the different components of tool. I'm gonna like duplicate some of these and then I'm gonna rotate some of these. So we're gonna change this axis and then I'm gonna do like 10 degrees. Um, just kidding. Negative 20. Um, the tool ones. Yes, you're so very welcome.
I'm just going to ignore the fact that that stick is kind of like poking out or whatever because I can't really help it all that much. Um, aw, Meals B, I'm so glad. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that I, I'm able to help you guys kind of like learn things a little bit better too. You know, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do rotate and then we're going to do like 20 degrees up. So it's gonna go up and then you're gonna go like this. Oh my God, it almost looks like a support for it though, doesn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> Animal Crossing or another special edition design. Oh, right, that's true. Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna do this and then we're gonna do like, I'm going to rotate this by, I want this to go down pretty heavily. So we're going to do, I think it's got to go this way. So I think it'd be positive. We're going to do 40. Okay, that was definitely not the right direction. Um, let's do rotate negative 80. There we go. Because you had to do like double to get back the other direction that you actually wanted to go. Yeah, you could say like exactly like it's the tarps or something. If they're supporting the tarps or something, I don't know. Kind of works. Okay, some of those are kind of fun. And then I could grab that tarp curtain. These ones. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. How y'all doing today? If you're new here, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. We are currently building a, um, a little enclosure for our kids to kind of just like go and hang out at and stuff. It's been pretty wild. Like this is a really interesting like point in our gameplay for sure. <laughs> they are coming out with a second generation switch really soon. They are. Um, so also be, be leery of that too, Ashy. I almost forgot about that now that you mention it. Because there's like a whole brand new switch coming out. Chances of being burned down too, right? I know, I swear. Yep, it really, it really does have the chance of being burned down, doesn't it? I uh, just don't understand the difference between the two. Are you talking about like the Switch Lite versus like the Switch OLED and the regular Switch? Because like the Switch OLED, it has like a slightly bigger screen. Um, I personally feel like it doesn't really do a lot of difference. It's very minuscule. It's a little more expensive. The regular Switch is... Yeah, it's a fancy dumb screen. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Um... There's like not much of a difference because I've seen them both like in the flash and stuff. And then the switch light is something that you can't use. It's only handheld, like only handheld. So you can't use it for anything else, like on a on a TV or on anything. Uh, Poppy would absolutely live stream the destruction of her house on fire. She would. She'd be like, oh, my God. Wow. Come shop for a new house with me is what Poppy would do. Oh my God, Poppy is kind of like the worst person, isn't she? Uh, the Switch Lite cannot be used on TV because there's no dock for it, so it's only handheld. The Switch Lite's only, um, yeah. I watched a lady um, go into a store and then they gave her the whole rundown, like, by the way, this is something, this is handheld only or whatever. Um, they gave her the whole spiel. And then the next time I went into like the store, they were like, yeah, there was this lady that came in and then she got really mad because the switch wasn't usable on like TV and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm pretty sure, I, I think it was like the same lady at least. Um, but I was like, oh, <laughs> sometimes. I swear. What should I do for like the top of this, you guys? Nothing, probably. I feel like, I don't know. Uh, regular one and not the light OLED. I hook it up to a monitor with an HBI. Yes, you could do that. 
Yeah, so you could use like your monitor as the TV screen, which is what I do. <clears throat> I have no intention of getting a switch, but if I ever do, I'll remember like everything else in life. Light equals bad, right? Exactly. Lattice. Ooh. Um, this is tall enough. String light curtains. Um, the tarp is on the ground, maybe for the top. It looked a little too nice, I think. I thought about it, but it looked kind of too nice. Um, and it wasn't like ratty enough. Um, uh, you might because the switch is really old. And you also would save money if they come out with a new one because the, the old one will probably drop in price. To be abundantly like honest. Aw. Hi, I'll see you later, Studio or Ray. Thank you so much for coming on by. Exactly. You also might be able to search like the marketplace or something and find someone offloading theirs. So that's a good point. Um so someone mentioned something about like using like lattices or something. I don't know. I think it might look too nice though. Um, but where's that piece of wood that I had? Something like this. Normal floor on top and then add broken panels from the house pack. Hmm. I thought about that. I was going to do something like this. Not elevate, but we're going to rotate her. And then I am going to change the axis. We go like this. I'm going to do 90 degrees. And I can't do that. Crap! Okay. So I can't do it with that one specifically, but I can do this one. Here we go. There we are. Hello, Jazzy. I hope you're having a good day. Good to see ya. Hi, Lace. How are ya? Um, the Switch may be old, but the ones post-pandemic have better battery than OG Switch. It would probably be best to wait and see what happens. So the, exactly. I think it would be best to wait because they, they are coming out with like a new one right now. Honestly, like you're going to save money and like see if you want to buy a new one because it is going to be a lot better because the the tech and the the old switches or the existing switches is not as good. Um, I think it would be wait, worth waiting. My cat is riding because she can't find a sunny window today. Oh, no. Be like, why? What did you do with the sun? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like your cat. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder if the cat's or animals like blame us for crap like that, you know? Man, these kids are engineers, but like not for the right things, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can we have the switch light in one way and that hurts that much uh, less drop on your nose? That is very true because they are lighter, literally lighter. <laughs> I know Kyber gets very sad if there's no sunshine, too. It's really funny. I'm like, because he goes like, oh, and he like meows at the window. I know it's like it's very realistic. I agree. Um, I'm going to take this and like size it up and then we're going to do like an edge on it. It's like, uh, I'll buy a refurbished one, at least buy, right? Because that would be, uh, that would be something to consider for sure. OSHA would not be pleased, no. I wonder if they had a building permit for this. Um. Oh my God, the bedroom door, because she wanted to check that one too. Oh, Ahsoka got very mad because we have the, the guest bedroom, uh, What's it called? We had the guest bedroom all closed off because Cooper had a UTI that he's been fighting off and stuff. So we closed it off because he peed on the bed because he had a UTI. And I was like, nope, your bedroom privileges have been revoked, Cooper. So, oh, you have a Nintendo since the 64. Oh, my God. You're in for a trip. I love it. And Nintendo games are seriously my favorites, though. 
for some reason, this just makes sense, you know? Hi. Hold on, Kibby. <laughs> I literally, like, just gently go here. It's like the lightest little pinch, and he goes completely limp. Like, I don't even really pinch him. I just grab the back of his neck, like, barely to, like, gather some skin. And he goes super limp. Um, it's so funny because like he turns into like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> uh, so I'm kind of Nintendo, even if the new one went cut right. Exactly. No, that makes sense, though. My cat mostly doesn't like the bedroom because she's scared to be locked in, but she loves a sunny window and will hide in there when company comes. Aww. I love you, buddy. I love this cat. Aw, oh, depressive episode lifting. Padme, I'm glad to see you. How you doing today? Mario. Some of their new Mario games are really good. How do we feel about their enclosure, you guys? I kind of like it. It looks really fun. Like, they just put it together and they have a place to kind of, like, hang out or whatever. It's very cute. What are you meowing about? Huh? I love this kitty so much, you guys. Something we would build while we were younger, right? It's like a fort. Poppy would be gritting her teeth looking at it, right? But then she like, or she doesn't even notice because she's too preoccupied with a baby. I could see that being a thing too, you know? Poppy would not allow that on video. She would not. <laughs> they love you. You want to go? Hey, Kimmy. You want to go? Okay, bye. See you later. Mario Kart for Sunday. I've not played Mario Kart in years. Oh, I know. It's it's actually, it's very fun. I do like the one. It's like something your uncle would build. Oh my God, I love it. Marsh, that's great. <sighs> but yeah, they, they have like their bubble machine and all that kind of crap. And oh my God. They've got music, they have their keg of juice and their fire. So we can have our gatherings here at grandma's house instead. Oh my God, I have cat hair all over my face now. Okay, guys, um, I don't think there's anything else that I want to add. We have a bookcase. We have like all sorts of things in the baby's nursery. And then we have this bedroom, which is our bedroom. So I think that we're good. Um, okay, but... There's cat hair everywhere right now. Um, I want to go. I want to take a break. And I want to grab a salad and a little something to eat for lunch. But then we are going to go into gameplay. One through five. Uh, three. I like three. Three sounds good. All right, friends. Um, yes. So I will be back in just a few. Oh, my God. I can't believe that we're back at this stinking house. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Anyway, okay, um, go grab a snack and stuff. Go grab something to drink, y'all. And I will see you guys in just a few. But I'm just going to go grab sa a salad and stuff. But I'm going to try to run ads. I don't think I'll be able to, but I'll catch you guys in a little bit.